Welcome to another episode of Is This Disc Right For You? And in this episode, we're gonna talk about the Dynamic Discs Marshall. This is a stable putter from Dynamic Discs. It's been out actually for a little while. It was the Trilogy Challenge disc of 2016. So yeah, it's been out for almost yeah. a, for a, over a year now, and it's come in several plastics, but um, the, the numbers, for you numbers guys, the number is speed three, glide four, turn zero, and a fade of one. Eric, tell us a little bit more about the Marshall. Well, the profile on the Marshall, it's not a, an overly deep putter, so it's not like the deep dish style of putter. It's kind of like a neutral putter, actually. Uh, it, it fits, in my opinion, it's it kind of fits right between the judge and the warden, okay. but it does have a bit of a micro bead on it. Um, I absolutely love this disc. It's been a staple in my bag since the Trilogy Challenge came out. Not as a putter, but as an approach putter. So it really never puts toward the basket. It's always just a thrower for me. Awesome. All right, well, like we always do in this series, we show you how it throws for myself, a casual disc golfer, and for a pro disc golfer like Eric McCabe. You know, for this particular disc, this, this episode, I absolutely love the Marshall. So I knew exactly how it was supposed to fly and how it did fly. Um, I love this disc for approaches from about 250 to 300 feet and I love it because I can just throw it out there with a hyzer and it flips the flat and flies relatively straight for me. It will finish off to the left at the end when it kind of loses speed, but man, this is, a, this is such a great approach disc for me personally and that has become a staple in my bag. Nice. Well, I've only thrown this thing a couple of times before uh, filming today. Um, so I didn't remember how it flew for me, but uh, it flew a lot straighter than I thought it would for me because mm -hmm. being a stable putter. So it flew really nice and straight and it definitely did have that, as it slowed down, it definitely had that hard turn at the left. So yeah, it's a very good putter for a casual player, just like myself, if you want to throw a putter off the tee pad and you want that predictable, predictable fade at the end. Now as far as putting, um, what about what do you think as far as putting for you, Eric? Um, I'm pretty happy with my putter right now, but it's a great putter for a spin putter. I wouldn't necessarily say it would be great for push putting, only because of how how kind of shallow it is. It's not like shallow like a pure or warden or anything like that, but it is. It does have a not a whole lot of depth to it, so it's kind of hard to get the push, the proper push for the push putt on there. But for spin putting, it being an an overstable stable putter absolutely be great for you spin putters out there if you want that predictable straight straight flight with a slight fade at the end now we like to show you how these discs throw for myself a casual player and eric a pro uh, player but you really need to try these out for yourself the best way to do that is to go on dynamicdisc.com look for a buyback retail partner how the buyback program works is that you get 14 days to try any of the discs from dynamic discs west side discs or latitude 64 discs and if then within that 14 days bring the disc back along with your receipt and we'll trade it out for something else that you that would work better for you so give it a try for yourself well that's it for the dynamic discs marshall pick yourself up one at dynamicdisc.com or your favorite retailer